And Joanne is at a soup kitchen in Leamington Spa now. Joanne, that's not a place that you'd uh, first associate with homelessness. What's the scale of this problem in our towns and cities? Well, the volunteers, for example, in Birmingham today, they say that they see around 60 rough sleepers a night in Birmingham. Here in Leamington, this uh, soup van on the streets, they feed about 30 people a week. It's a once a week service. And one of the people they help is Tony. Let's go and speak to him. So, Tony, I understand that you have found a flat in recent months, were homeless before that. How vital is this service to you? Very, very, very vital because some, some, some days, when we were homeless, we weren't we weren't been able to eat at all. But now with with, with this service, it, it, you know, it it it, it's, it gives it people a chance to eat something without without worrying about where where the next one's going to come from. That's great. And Becky, you run the service. You don't expect this in an affluent town like Leamington. How popular is it? Well, we get at least 30 people a week coming down and it seems to be getting more popular every week. So there's definitely a need for it in Leamington. And what kind of reaction do you get from people? People are really happy to be able to eat that day. You know, a lot of people can't afford a hot meal. And it's not just the homeless, it's people who just are on the breadline, literally, isn't it? People have benefits cut, um, the bedroom tax affects people um, and they just can't afford a hot meal. So. OK, we'll let you get back to your work. Well, thanks very much for joining us. And uh, they want to extend this service to Thursday nights as well, but they need more volunteers for the soup fam here in Leamington. OK, Joanne Rittle, thank you.